Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days on this uh, pretty sombre day. Uh, obviously, uh, news breaking that Muhammad Ali has, has passed. Um, I know you might find it a little bit weird uh, that this wrestling channel is uh, talking about Muhammad Ali. Um, but it's not that weird. Uh, Ali's done an awful lot when it comes to wrestling. Um, there's kind of three things that come to mind straight away. Um, one... His, his charisma, um, what he did in the boxing world, the showmanship that he had absolutely influenced, shaped late 60s, 70s wrestling. Um, I honestly don't think without Ali uh, we would have had as much showmanship. I don't know if things like, or people like superstar Billy Graham would have been so extroverted. Um, and certainly I don't think the promos uh, would have been as passionate as you know humorous at times um, he definitely influenced elements of the wrestling world and uh, obviously it was that foundation that Hulkamania was born um, second thing that he did really was he was at Wrestlemania 1 his star power helped make Wrestlemania 1 the success that it was um, he was a, a guest referee and um, you know Pat Patterson famously uh, said uh, that Ali you know wanted to get in the ring and be a part of it and they kept having to kind of hold him back he, he was the showman he, he didn't want to be on the outside the concern was if they had him in the ring he would have got involved and uh, you know wouldn't have looked brilliant if he'd have been dishing out a few blows and knocked out Mr T knocked out Roddy Piper and um so they ended up keeping him as an outside referee. He was he was a wrestling fan, and uh, you know it showed his his kind of enjoyment and his passion for the business. Um, but his star power was really a major factor in WrestleMania uh, one being the success that it was. And then the third uh, thing, other than you know a few appearances, I mean there's there's famously a, a match where he was ringside with Gorilla Monsoon. Monsoon pushes his opponent out of the ring. Ali takes, you know, a bit of fence to it and jumps in the ring. And there's this like moment between Gorilla Monsoon and Muhammad Ali. It's really cool. Um, but the third, the third thing that he did for wrestling and and really combat sport in in whole um, was that he he was part of one of the first mixed martial arts matches. Um, famously, you know, he had matches. Uh, boxing matches and uh, he wanted an Asian opponent um, and so he said is that is there anyone over in Asia that can fight me um, I'll give him a million dollars and uh, Antonio Inoki one of the greatest wrestlers of all time Japanese wrestler uh, accepted the challenge um, I think Inoki ended up paying six million to get the fight to go but um, basically it was going to be one of the first mixed martial arts fights it was going to be the wrestler against the boxer now Ali was under the impression this was just going to be you know all for show um, but Inoki was kind of teasing that it was going to be a real fight um, and so Muhammad Ali's people got a bit concerned about this this is 1976 by the way um, and so because they got concerned a load of rules were brought in but um, no one was allowed to tell the public these rules existed um, Ali went over basically to see Inoki and saw just you know the drop kicks he was delivering the grappling that he was doing um, got a little concerned that if this was going to be real he, he was going to get hurt and you know he was still having he was still in the middle of his boxing career so they said to Inoki's people you, if you're going to kick you've got to have one knee on the floor there'll be no tackling um, there'll be no grappling I mean, they, they took the fight out of the fight. Um, it, it left Inoki with little to no offence. There was nothing that he could do, uh, or little that he could do. Um, the fight itself was huge, huge. Um, there, there was 30,000 uh, in, in the arena. Uh, Vince McMahon actually showed it at Shea Stadium, and... Um, what he did was he put an undercard on of, of wrestling and then the main event was the showing of this Muhammad Ali versus Antonio Inoki uh, fight um, and uh, yeah you know he was like he had 30,000 at that um, to watch that 
but it's uh, the fight goes it's it's kind of classed as one of the most embarrassing fights in history which it's not unfair um, that it's classed as that because it it's not a fantastic fight to watch but you can understand why you can understand Muhammad Ali's people having those concerns um, and I can understand why Antonio Inoki um, did what he did and basically what he did was um, he fought, I think he was on, on his feet for about 14 seconds in the first round and then the rest of the first round he was lay on his back just kicking kicking at Muhammad Ali and keeping Muhammad Ali back Inoki was never going to be able to box Ali um, and in this whole fight Ali only lands six punches it's an amazing strategy from Antonio Inoki to just lay on his back and just kick out and this went for 15 rounds um, the kicks some some were connecting most were not uh, Ali was just standing back and taunting him uh, telling him to get up so he could knock him back down um, Inoki didn't didn't bite just stayed with his strategy um, the kicks that did connect with pretty brutal lesions started to open up on Muhammad Ali's legs uh, to the point where you know after the match he actually has two blood clots and they start talking about amputating his legs this was this was a proper fight and um, it was it was it had you know a lot of connotations his mobility wasn't as great following this um, match and uh, I think there's you know quite a bit of regret all round but um, the match ended in a draw there was no winner Inoki was um, three points up at one stage but lost all three points because of disqualification and um, it meant that Inoki could claim that if he hadn't have been deducted those points he would have won Ali could claim that you know it, this guy was cheating he was just on his back and he couldn't you know wasn't fighting wasn't there to fight both came out with bragging rights the match was a draw um, but it opened up the door, the door for MMA you know this is 76 in 78 WWE um, give Inoki the world martial arts heavyweight championship title which Inoki held for like a decade lost it in 89 won it back in 89 and then it was retired but it, this is years and years and years before UFC. They they really paved the way. They really paved the way, um, and you know it 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 meant more eyes on the wrestling product as well because you know everybody was watching this fight. This was a big big deal. Inoki continued to have mixed martial um, fights and actually went on to uh, founder. I say he went on to founder. I think he'd already done it. I'm sure he did it in '72. But New Japan Pro Wrestling, um, New Japan Pro Wrestling is um, was founded by Antonio Inoki. Um, famously, you know, uh, Inoki retired in '98, I think it was, and Muhammad Ali was there for his final fight. Muhammad Ali goes in the ring, and a, a statement is read. By this point, you know, Ali's obviously deteriorated fairly drastically. Um, because of his illnesses and whatnot, um, but he was there for Inoki's final wrestling match and uh, said, you know, how 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 great their friendship was and how great of a man Inoki was, and so yeah, you know, uh, Ali's ties with wrestling are, are, are plentiful and, and very very strong. Those are just really the three that that come to mind most for me, but. You know, to, to be the greatest boxer of all time, to have one of the first MMA matches of all time, to be a key component for WrestleMania 1. You know, it, it goes without saying that Muhammad Ali goes into the Wrestling Days Hall of Fame. That's that's not really what this video is about. Um, but, yeah, he, he goes into the celebrity wing, if you will. Um, but just, just such a loss such a loss I mean I'm not I'm in no place to sit here and tell you about what he achieved in boxing I know a few things I was a fan but there's better channels for that but I can certainly tell you about what his big contributions to the wrestling world were um, and uh, yeah you know he was never going to come back because of his illnesses and whatnot. but to lose him altogether is a well as I said at the start a very a very sombre day Cool. Thanks a lot for watching. Um, 
If you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, it'd be brilliant if you did. I really would appreciate it. It's got um, loads more videos, more cheerful videos on the way. And uh, you can obviously follow me at Twitter at Wrestling Days UK. I'd love to hear from you and you know um, your thoughts on on Ali and um, you know your memories of Ali and whatnot. And uh, yeah, you know, hopefully see you next time and. Long live the king.